Oh yeah, guys! Welcome back to Raz Radio. Oh my goodness, guys! We have an amazing crowd. Got all the kids right here. You guys could already tell we were jamming out, vibing, getting everything started. Matt, you know what? Don't stop that. Keep that music. Just keep that music right, rocking, right. bro. I want people to turn that up right now. I want people to know what we're feeling. We're in a mode, guys. We're ready to go. You know that Raz Radio is ready to give you everything that you need. And for this episode, we have a very, very hot topic. But you know I don't like to get started without my main brother. So, Matt Tato. Hey. Hey guys, what up? Matt Tatum coming at you in years. You already know what it is. Get ready for a sick episode, guys. Oh yeah, guys. You know that I'm Ricardo Adam Zarate, also known uh, as Raz. Do we know and, that? Do we yeah, know that? they didn't know. If, now they know. Sure. If they didn't know, now they know. But the other person that you know is always to my right, because he's never left, meaning he's never wrong. My boy, Kevin Heaven. Hey everybody, I'm so glad to be back here. Thanks, Ricardo, for the introduction. I appreciate that. Right. Really looking forward to the day with our guests it's gonna be a good mm-hmm. one. that's right guys we have a hot and heavy topic like i've already said we have something that nobody wants to talk about and that's persistence guys persistence is a topic that's very close to my heart and i brought some one of my brothers that's also very close to my heart one of my confidants you know one of my brothers that i met through this acting industry but that's become a very very close friend of mine that I can trust, that I can bring to you guys to also encourage you guys, motivate you and inspire you. Let me not keep going though. Stevie Yeager. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey man, I just want to say thank you, man, for having me. I got thank you. you guys oh, of course, man. Us. Um, Man, thanks, man. I, I, I love your setup. Um, Thank you, bro. Let, let's, just, let, let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. I'm so let's ready. It. So you come from, where are you coming from? So that people don't know. I don't really know, obviously, where you're coming from right now. Did you have a long drive this morning? No, no, no. It was, it was like, cool? Kind of, yeah. Perfect. Like 30 minutes. It's cool. There you yeah, go. Yeah, now, yeah. obviously, the you know the people at home know that we are an LA platform, right? We are on the West Coast as of right now, right? West Coast, the best. Second coast. best coast, right? Oh Not my right. God, come on. Get out of here. I got East, no, right. East is least. East yeah. is least. Yeah. Yeah. West is best. Ah, there it is. I thought you said we. That's right, Kevin, <laughs> let him know. So guys, you already know that Matt's from the East Coast, right? Yeah, i never Virgin- forget it. Virginia so. in the house, yeah, y'all. Cool. Hey, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm very excited because Steve actually just the same way as me. He's from the West Coast, I'm, right. right? You grew yeah. up out here. Where mm-hmm. did you grow up originally? Uh, originally, I, I, um, I'm i from, well, I'm still um, there, Boyle Heights. Boyle, yeah, there right, you go. Right, right, <laughs> well, I gotta represent that. You gotta know, represent, can, yeah. right? So, How was it growing up there, brother? I was cool, man. I mean, of course you see the whole gang thing, the whole, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, all that stuff. Um, But just, you know, going to school there, I mean, you, you just see so much, you know? Mm. You see so much and Everything that you see, it, it kind of helped me in life to kind of understand how things work. Also, being in this industry, mm. I mean, I've seen so much where I was able to use that into that. Yeah, yeah, game, yeah. You know? into the actual so, game exactly. of the industry, right? right because right. It's, a, it's a game, I feel, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. is a game almost. Mm. Um, do you come from the athletic background, Steve? Do yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Were you an athlete? Okay. Yeah, well, I, my favorite sport is basketball. All so, right, yeah, that's so, right. So as a kid, I was always playing basketball and kind of scared scoot up a little bit. Yeah, Just of course, of left. course. Come yeah. over here. That, no, yeah, no worries. Get yeah. you looking pretty in that frame. Yeah, yeah right there, brother. There you go. We wanted you a little bit more in the middle. But yeah, you were saying, so your favorite sport is basketball. Yeah, basketball. So I played at Evergreen. Park, Evergreen Park. It's also Evergreen. there. Yeah, yeah. Heights, I yeah. know exactly. You know yes, I know where so, Evergreen Park so is. So I was at. there. Um, parents put me there, you know. And, yeah. But yeah, it was always basketball. I mean, I tried the other sports, baseball, but man, you know, baseball, I don't like being in the sun, you know. <laughs> Unless I'm <laughs> yeah. at the beach, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> but being at the right there, right. Uh, like just waiting for the ball to get to you when they hit it. Nah, man. I just, it was basketball. It's about you know? patience, right? Yeah. It's about patience. Yeah. And yeah. do you think that um, for you, you know, again, growing up and being a patient man right. you know like uh that baseball requires you know mm-hmm. uh other these other careers require mm-hmm. right patience is i feel like a virtue that sometimes people don't have oh yeah and they lose it when it comes to persistence exactly. what do you think no yeah you're right you're right um that's something that i did learn to have patience especially being in this industry but as a kid i was always a quiet you know just very observant you know mm-hmm. just watching things looking th- you know at things you know around so my surroundings um but yeah i was very 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 patient um now being in this industry 
I had to be patient because mm. I know there's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of talent, you know, but I've always believed in myself, regardless of people telling me, man, you're so quiet, you're so shy, this and that. I grew up just watching movies, and one mm. of my inspirations is John Claude Van Damme. Oh, you know? that come you know? on, Arnold brother, John Claude, John Claude Van Damme, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was an amazing always, actor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, man, I was gonna ask you that too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, <laughs> that's, that's, and not, not only him, only I mean Sylvester Stallone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like you know those ninety, you know, yeah, oh, those yeah, classic exactly. yeah. uh -huh. So that's Terminator pretty much for real, man. Right? No, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what that's me. You know what? I gotta give it up for those movies. Yeah, yeah. Those movies, Steve, are real classics and you yes. know you got to be a real cinephile mm -hmm. you know to understand theater and, and understand cinema but you know the movies that you bring up right are probably not movies that people might think that you're into exactly yeah because i mean they see that you know my appearance and stuff like that but uh -huh. as a kid man i've always watched those movies i like karate i mean yeah I karate kid scene. yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the karate kid. but i but i loved the real like you know grown up van damme movies yeah, and they yeah. have a storyline to it and it's just I don't know, man. I, I was a young kid watching these, you know, grown up movies. And I just kind of that's where I kind of picked up a lot of stuff, too. You know, that's amazing. And do you feel, you know, Matt had, you know, what was it? What was going to be your question was? Well, uh, I was going to ask who is your biggest inspiration as far as an actor. Um, but I'll just change that to who's your biggest inspiration that's still acting. That's still acting. I got to say, man, to be honest, um, Dwayne Johnson. Ah, yeah. Yeah. He's Dwayne one of my Johnson, favorites, yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, I I love his acting, and, and when I watch movies, especially you know his movies, I kind of watch the movie as if it was my class, you know, like oh right, like you say, study yeah, the yeah, movie, yeah. 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 So you know how we all take acting classes, so that when I watch movie, I pay attention to his reactions, mm -hmm. his you know, the, the, just the way his emotions, like I being mean, in the moment, yeah, because I know what's behind the camera, which is like fifty people watching, right? And like it's kind of hard to be in the moment when there's like a whole crew, a right. boom right above your head, yeah. And when he does certain things, I'm like, oh, that was cool, that was, that was. so I kind of pick up on that, and I know the audience watches it as you know the story, right? Like but, there's not fifty people right in front of, right, right. So I, I'm watching the movie, and I'm like taking you know notes, I'm like, oh, okay, that was cool when. when and they asked him this, he reacted to that, or he got mad at this point. So that's my acting class. Oh, yeah. You know mm. what I mean? Like, that's the way yeah. I kind of take up on stuff. And stuff so kind of like self-taught. Yeah. And also yeah. Denzel Washington, of course. Oh, you know? man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. You know, hands down. That's cool. Hands down. Yeah, so and you've talked to me about that, brother. I remember one of the first times that we talked. Right, right, right. You know, you said, because um, I was talking to you about acting classes, mm -hmm. and I was talking to you about, about all that good stuff. And, and we were actually... I think we were on on the bus, right? On all my block, oh, we yeah. were on the bus, uh -huh. and we were. You might not remember this, but I I just remember that you did say you said something like, um, "Yeah, you know, I just watch, you know, like you mm. know, life is right. my coach." Yeah, you know, right. and I think that for the people at home, you know, I think that it's very, it's very important, you mm. know, that they know that it's there's not one way to do oh, yeah. things right there's no cookie cutter program mm -hmm. into actually getting to be an actor right or, oh, yeah, right? right so yeah. i think that for myself you know growing up i would see you know these types of people right some people mm -hmm. learn by themselves some people yeah. right uh some people's being self-taught is what i mean right um and some people do it for one reason mm -hmm. or the other mm -hmm. right yeah. they don't necessarily know sometimes where they want to go right. but they know what they can see in right. front of them like how you were just talking about right. like they they say okay well i don't really know you know what this is going to take mm -hmm. or where i have to start right that was but, me that was me okay uh, but but i know that i uh -huh. i can see that i can do that yeah or, or uh, you know, or I, I feel like I can do that, right? You believe in yourself, you know? Yeah, that, that's, you know? That's just how it was, man. I mean, I started off doing background at first, you uh -huh. know? Okay. Um, and again, like you just said, you don't know where it's going to take you. I don't know where I was going. I just know that I want to do something in the entertainment industry, which is acting. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know how to get started. I didn't know the right way. I didn't have nobody telling me, hey, this is what you got to do. I mean, I know everything now, mm -hmm. but at the moment, I didn't know what SAG was. So, I didn't I didn't know any of that stuff. The you know? business part, yeah. right? So as I was going, you know, being background, being background, people are talking about like, oh, it's SAG, and I'm like, what is it? And then they're telling me, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta get three and this and that to get, you know, join the union. The vouchers, exactly. Right. So it's almost up, like, you know, yeah, so, yeah, it's yeah. almost like you know, you you hear about these things and it's like, like everybody knows but you. 
Right. <laughs> and it sounds so unattainable you for yourself. Yeah. Where you're like, how'd you get a voucher? They put me here yeah, and I'm non-union. Right. What is this? Yeah. Or like, or like, why didn't you tell me before that yeah. I needed it? <laughs> oh, I, I, I mean, central casting, I didn't know about it until years later. Mm. And then I realized like, man, I should have came here first. Yeah. yeah. I was going to casting services and I didn't know, you know, again, no one told me how to do it. Yeah. So I found out about central casting, you know, years, you know, along the road and I joined them. And that's where things just started coming around. Not and, not necessarily just from there, but I knew that was the, one of the biggest mm-hmm. casting services out there. And that's that was probably one of the biggest moves you had done yet yeah. in regards towards yeah. your career. Yeah. Right? And how was that? Like, how, what was that like taking that jump? Because like, obviously people get like stage fright. And right. so what was it like jumping into like just background at first? Because like, it's it's scary to go on a limb and chase your dreams. Yeah, no, it, it is. Um, Well... I, I just heard about, you know, you do background, they might discover you. That's what I thought. <laughs> so you're like, oh, so I'm, like, I'm going to okay, be that guy. They're gonna try and then yeah, they show you all the pictures. They're like, exactly. hey, Will Ferrell started here. Right. And all yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then once you're there, yeah, once you're there, no one's paying attention to you if you're background. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, man, this is. You're like, they lied to me. And they're like, anybody want to read a line? Someone like, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> someone, someone, lied, someone lied to me about this. So um, I, I just I just didn't give up, man. I just kept going. I kept going. Um, Again, I still don't know what I was doing. And I remember, I mean, I'm going to talk about how it switched up on me, how mm-hmm. it changed up from, from background to what I'm doing now, right? Mm, okay. So what happened is that there was a time frame where the casting service wasn't calling me. So I'm mm. like, man, I mean, there's no work. There's no movies being made or what? So I called that casting service, which um, I wasn't. I was like, oh, let me wait for tomorrow. But And this, and this is what I mean, persistence, you know, like, yeah, let yeah, me yeah. just try it and then i was like nah you know what just let me just do it now you know who cares if it's 11 p.m whatever so i called her and i just asked her like hey is there is there anything uh like going on like how come there's you haven't called me for like months you know she's mm-hmm. like, oh yeah it's been it's been kind of slow but then she told me um but you know what that's good that you called because there actually is one movie that's actually looking for a latino you know character and i'm like all right cool but she's like but they're it's all they're only going by pictures you know so i submitted my picture she she sent it in and um, she pretty much kept up um, with me with that. So, you know, the next day came. She's like, okay, they're down to eight. So you're still in the loop. Hey. Next day, yeah, they're, 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 they're down to five. They're, you're still in the loop. Next day, they're down to three. You're still in the loop. Come to two, I'm still in the loop. And then I got that final call. It was me who they got. Yeah. So, nice. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that must have been you know, stressful I, waiting I have for to, that. You know what? For I, I, that, uh-huh. you guys already know, guys. We <laughs> have to give a huge, huge applause. Yeah. What what movie was it a movie or a well, show? It, it was a movie, but uh, mm-hmm. before we um get excited, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was um it was it, 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 I didn't take it as a big deal because again it was for a background role, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, totally. But, but but it was a featured background. There you, know you know go. I mean? So oh, that's the next step, yeah. right? But I wasn't again too excited. I'm like, okay, cool, thank you. Thank you. I, I, now I got a job, you know, for 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 that moment for a month. Mm. So come going to set, um. I'm walking, I'm walking, I see a bald headed guy. I didn't know who he was. I figured like, okay, he's, play, he's the one that's gonna play my homie. So I continue walking and then I go do my paperwork and I hear this voice and it's a recognizable boy voice. So I'm like, wait, nah, it can't be him, you know? So I'm like, nah, nah I'm, I'm tripping. So I continue doing my paperwork. Then as I'm leaving that, that um, where they had me stationed that I'm leaving and he's coming in and we bump heads and it's Noel G. You know, no. Noel G from yeah, Fast yeah, and the Furious yeah. and all that. I, we know Noel G. No he's a, hey, shout out to Noel G. Yeah, right? no. He's an amazing actor. Uh, Noel G. He's very, he's yeah, very no, persistent. Yeah. Also. Yes, very, and very, he's pretty very much the, the one that kind of um, took me under his wing. So anyway, he we bumped heads, and he was like, "Hey, what's up, bro? Like, have we worked together?" I'm like, "Nah, nah, I just know who you are." So then he was, um, he's like, oh, that's what's up. So we had a month. He's the one that was playing my homie in that film, which is called Smartass. You know, at the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Matt, you wanted him to bring the mic in? Oh, just a little closer no, to your I'm mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so pull it sorry, in. Sorry. So we'll see you. Yeah, no, you're like good. That, you're good. That, yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. We wanted, Matt wanted to really hear you. and Got you. Yeah, Thanks man, for that, Matt. Okay, okay, so you were saying? So then um, uh, we had a whole month together uh, uh-huh. on the movie. So uh, we were able to chop it up. He, he knew me as a person i found out how he was and like i even you know like sí, claro, and, claro. and he, he just like i even my kid uh, means that um you know he 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 sat with it sat well he sat well with him you know oh, he right. was yeah. a good, good, for, for good yeah. first impression there you go yeah, per yeah. Se. thanks good for that clearing time. that up man no worries yeah, and the reason we're bilingual here right, uh, okay. at, <laughs> at raz <laughs> radio nice, guys nice. you guys know that Si, si hablamos español es porque nosotros queremos que ustedes aprendan el español, ¿verdad? Yeah, we want to teach you guys. We want you guys to know that 
Um, if you don't know Spanish, you're going to learn you with us. You guys can learn with me. Sí, yeah. sí. <laughs> vamos, sí. Le vamos a educar a, a Matt aquí, a Mateo, para que haga, haga todo lo que necesite en español, ¿verdad? Pero sí. sí, para todos ustedes en la casa que están escuchando en español, muchísimas gracias, ¿ok? Gracias, But yeah, you gracias. were saying, Cardan. So then, um, yeah, so then at the time that we were filming, um, it was already going to be the wrap up. Yeah. And he, you know, before we, we wrapped up, he's like, hey, G, you know, like, man, I, you, you're, you're a cool dude, man. Like, I want to introduce you to, um, you know, some people at my church. So hey. he was going, yeah, he was going to church. You that's know, um, that's at, a big uh, move. Yeah, in, amazing. Um, I believe in Whittier. Um, what, praise, what church pra is that? Pra praise Chapel Whittier. Praise Chapel. Okay, yeah, yeah I know so, Whittier. We actually have uh, some property out in Whittier. My oh, folks, nice. My oh, folks dope. have some. So nice, yeah, right nice. there in Uptown Whittier. Yeah, I know okay, Whittier. Cool. Okay, got you. So so he um he told me to come through, and one day I came through. You know, check it out. I brought my kids at the time. I was you know with uh with my my ex. Um, uh -huh. so from that point on, we got even closer. Mm -hmm. And then he was he was telling me, hey, man, I want to introduce you to my agent, you know, this and that. I didn't want to bug him too much about it. I'm just going to let it, you know, whenever he has the time to introduce right, me. Right, you don't want to persist let, on that. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was probably like maybe close to a year where he kind of finally like, uh, told me, like, hey, I'm going to, to that agent that I was going to introduce you to. You want to roll with me? And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. So that's where he introduced me to to the agent. And um, by the way, her name's Nancy. Uh, I mean, Maria. And... I just left the headshot with her. Mm -hmm. I left the headshot with her and también le caí bien. Okay. So I believe the next day she submitted me for a film. I forgot what it was. I think it was High and Mighty or something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that was my first audition really. Okay. First, that's where now I'm, now I'm kind of like getting exposed In the loop. to like the, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So okay. then, um, again, I was a shy, quiet type of dude, right? I went in, I, I studied the lines. I went in. And I just gave it my all, man. I just, I didn't really care what people thought. I mean, if they want that realness, I'm, I'm just going to be like, you know, give them that realness. And I, I, I'm, want, from, yeah. I'm from the streets or whatever. I mean, not, not from the streets, but I grew up in the streets, you know, with uh, friends that were, you know, gang members and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, so yeah. I, I seen all Well, you that grew stuff, up in the you know? streets, you know, right. I mean, and I think that some people affiliate growing up in the streets with you being part of a gang, yeah, you know, so and I, I think we, up, yeah, you know clear, I mean? we talk like that, but right. yeah, but realistically though, yeah. the reality is you did grow oh, up yeah, in the yeah. streets, Oh yeah, I did the whole thing, ditching and doing all that dumb stuff, but it was all good, you know? Totally. So living that lifestyle kind of brought me to like, okay, I could use this in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And if they mm -hmm. want realness, I'm going to give them real. I'm not going to go overboard or not show them that I'm shy. Whatever. I'm like, they don't know me. Yes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to study it. Yeah. yeah they, they, I'm going to study it. I'm going I'm to come in like, you know, the way I'm supposed to. And just, again, I'm not going to overact or anything like that. And, and pretty much that was the first audition and I picked it up. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, so that that's cool. amazing. So, I, I like how you were saying that you were like, you know what, I don't want to bugger because there's bad persistence too. Or now you're annoying yeah. people about like, hey, you said you had that agent mm, for me. And right. You're like, you know what, I'm gonna uh, let exactly. this happen naturally. Yeah, yeah. So, and that works so out. in between time, I was still uh, be, before he introduced me the, to the agent and so to to the agent, I was still doing my thing. You know, I, I'm into working out too. So um, just staying persistent with that. You know, because I also yeah. want to be prepared in case. They want me to take my shirt off. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, that, that, so that's that's how I was, man. I was just, you know, going gym, you know, to UFC to, for like an hour, take a break for an hour, then go to LA Fitness workout. Like I was on it, you know. Oh, dude, that's some yeah. brutal yeah. stuff. Yeah. The craft, man. man. Yeah. Totally. It takes a lot out of you. No, People it, think like, oh, it's just three minutes for a round, but it's like, dude, you get oh, to that yeah. last thirty seconds and you're dripping sweat. Oh yes, dying, yes. Man. And then just yeah, man, just persistent man i just i just didn't give up you know so yeah. i got that first audition i picked it up um God we damn. went for it and then i guess that that left a good impression on me so she started you know sending me out for other ones um and i just kept going bro like yeah, i mean yeah, i kept yeah. going and off of one picture you know i was getting so that's what i'm saying yeah. other people that i know it's the right way according to what actors know is acting class you know get coached and, and and i'm not taking away from that that's good you know a lot of people should like me i should probably do the same thing but i just i don't know i'm just gonna i'm believing in myself i'm gonna just go mm -hmm. you know if they send me a script i'm gonna read it if it's like some criminal dude i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna kill it you know because yeah. i'm taking the experiences i went through in life yes and then i'm gonna put them on camera and yeah pretty much that's how that's I also what's got worked SWAT. for you so yeah and and so, i wanted to talk you know and going now into right. the actual first round, guys. Round one. <laughs> so we have, you know, the way that the rounds work is I kind of wanted to give people, you know, okay. not kind of, but I wanted to give people your history right. into how it kind of started for you. Okay. Now cool. with this first round, right, um, we get into now just what you kind of feel, you know, people 
don't do nowadays, right? right? Okay. Like, again, you know, we were talking about persistence mm -hmm. and how that's gotten you in the right doors mm -hmm. and how not being too persistent on other people, right? right? Or not bugging them, exactly. not depending mm -hmm. on anybody else, but really you being the one to go out there and get it. Yes. That's what I'm hearing from right, you, right? right. Yes, and course. I think what I'm also getting is, I'm getting at the fact that you've used your looks and your experiences mm -hmm. and your life to help you better your life, mm -hmm. not bring you down. Right, right. No, yeah, of you, course. You yeah. didn't take yourself of growing in the streets or growing up in the streets mm -hmm. and seeing these things, being exposed to them as an excuse mm -hmm. to, to right. behave incorrectly mm -hmm. and then give yourself validation, right? right? And, mm -hmm. and I wanted to, again, the, the question is, you know, you've clearly used what God's given you and your experiences mm -hmm. to get forward. Yes. Would you use the same advice for anybody else in terms of who's watching this for them getting better or maybe getting a new job or, mm -hmm. you know, starting to get closer to God mm -hmm. or, you know, you know, what do you tell those people in terms of starting something that they've always wanted to start? Okay, cool. Well, yeah, first and foremost, uh, yeah, I believe I, I'm a very big believer in God, you know, so mm. that's something okay. that I'm always like, you that's know, right. pray, I'm praying. I have a personal relationship with God, you know, I might not look like the type to go to church and stuff like that, but I do have a personal relationship with God. There you and, go. Amen. And I, I mean, believe me, I pray. And, I, and what you, um, you know, I just want to talk, why do you say, what you just said, you said, I know I may not look mm -hmm. like I have or like I go to church. Right. What it, those are stereotypes. You yeah, know? And exactly. I kind of wanted and, to talk. And, so, and I get that from how people see perceive me. You. Yes. Because I remember there is one time where I did. I was I was a background. Right. And during the whole wrap up, we were signing while well, they were signing me out. And then they were like, um, oh, OK, um, I don't I mean, it sounds kind of messed up, but they're like, um, um, you tomorrow you don't need to come tomorrow because we're, we're, you know there's no like Hispanic you know looking people doing background right here like kind of like saying I'm not supposed to be in that environment of mm. that scene and I'm like oh well damn well, well the camera already got me so I mean I don't know it's gonna look kind of messed up if I don't <laughs> so, so you're gonna see me there and then it's gonna be like whatever so I, I kind of just said that just to come back the next day you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah you got it so yeah I mean I, I kind of yeah, I saw uh, you, you know, I saw so, that that was Smart, so, but, but 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 what she said kind of made me think like, damn, like of course, okay, it's so, like that sometimes. Yeah, so they've that, done that to me before. Yeah, so I, like, exactly. Like, so, like for insecure, they're like, sorry, this scene, we right. don't need white people. I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, so, like I'm not white though. Yeah. And, well, yeah, but they don't see the Mexican. Yeah. I think the opposite again, going mm -hmm. back to the God topic. Right. Um, usually a man that's dressed. Mm -hmm. A with a way, hoodie uh -huh. on you know yeah. even myself bro yeah. i wear a hoodie i wear a hoodie i wear uh -huh. sweats like you get these guys know i wear hoodies and sweats all the time mm -hmm. with some jays like you know and sometimes some i'll be at somewhere yeah i'll be right. my got my jewelry on you said really bling bling like i don't ever take off my jewelry and right. sometimes i'll go to these you know beverly hills mm -hmm. stores you know grocery stores right. to just get it some fruta you right, know, right, get right some quick fruit uh -huh, yeah. and a water or something you know i'm doing something and uh -huh. I, you got to be eating on you know as an actor you got to right. be on the road so but I noticed that they'll look at me a certain a way, certain even way, just yeah. being in Beverly Hills and, and having, like I said, my chain out and my, and you know, or like mm -hmm. not security looks at you, but even just the patrons that go right. there, you know? So for you again at church, sometimes people feel like yeah. you're not supposed to be in there dressed a certain way. Right, you know? right, right. But right? no, at that church, I mean, I, I'm saying like just uh, people wouldn't see that I'm into church because yeah, I don't, yeah, I, of I, course. don't I don't carry a, you know, Bible and I don't end the way I Thank am. You. And sometimes I wear, you know, my Cortez is, I mean, they right away they think, you know, which I get it. That's the way the street life was. And people do that. And they that's are an wearing, image, yeah, an yeah, image exactly. that some certain, ga you know, right. certain gangsters did so, wear the attire back right, then. Right. Of course. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, man, I mean, it's just, that's why you don't judge a book by its cover. You, totally. type of thing, you know what I mean? Because I am a good person. Um, I mean, like I just it's I, culture, I like, bro. Yeah. It's culture. Realistically, yeah. you grow you grew up in the West Coast culture. Like mm -hmm. I wear Cortez's. Yeah. I wear, you know, but like that's not I'm not a bad person because right. I dress just like a certain exactly. way. And even if you go have you been in New York ever? Um, I'm not having Okay, so no. the first time I went to New York, uh -huh. I was dressed with my Cortez's oh, okay. and with my, you know, yes, I was warm, but I was still dressed like that. And right. people were looking at me. 
Because wow. in New York, they don't dress like that. Right. They weren't looking at me bad because it might yeah, have been yeah, yeah. another person of color. Just because different. Just it was right. just different. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm saying. I think even culturally, right? Like yeah, yeah, I right. grew up going to Plaza Mexico. Okay. Right here in yeah. Lenguela, Plaza Mexico, uh-huh. Plaza Mexico. I would grew up um, going there, the Imperial Swap Meet on right. Imperial and Garfield, you yeah. know, like the indoor swap meet. I, I like people don't know mm-hmm. that we were just kind of exposed to that. Yeah, that, clothing. Exactly. The, you know, it was cheap. Yeah, you can get like for instance, me boy highs. They have the mercadito. El mercadito, you know? like totally. So, so, yeah, yeah, buena, buena comida. Oh, yeah, you know, they good. have the todo. Like, uh-huh. and that's the thing, the culture, bro. I mm-hmm. think that that's what makes people have stereotypes. Right. 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 So right. you were talking about that. And, okay. And yeah, tell us so, some more about your persistence. Uh-huh. Yeah. So then, um, yeah, just just keep on going. You know, and um, for for um. What was I saying? Uh, for, with, for talking Noah, about right? like to people, you know, giving them that oh, okay, advice, yeah. you know, so what the, you've done, what you advise right. them. So yeah, okay. So you know, pray. Uh, that's that's one thing I, I do all the time. Um, don't don't be uh don't overthink. You know, don't mm, overthink sometimes because yep. sometimes that could actually you know make you like you know stuck, and then you're just like well, yeah. Right away when you go to a, to an audition, if they see that, they're gonna be like, ah, no, no, he's not good. So I I also had a qu- um so, someone asked me a question, and he was a gangster, whatever. And he's like, hey, bro, like, um, I, what, what's the advice that you could give me? Because, you know, when when they get me for a gangster role, I um, I look at the script, I study. But when I go in front of these people, I, I, I get stuck. So I told him, look, man, they already like your look. You're tatted up. You look hardcore, whatever. Don't be afraid to just throw it out there. Whatever you experienced in your, you know, hood or whatever it is, bring that here. But. I mean, don't disrespect them. You know, don't be like, man, fuck, you know, whatever. Yeah, of course. Just, just show that your, you know, your, your, your image is what they're looking for. Because mm-hmm. if they see you like, oh, like stuck, they're gonna be like, oh, he just looks the part, but he can't play it out. Because mm-hmm. there's going to be someone like me who is not going to care what they think of me. I'm going to kill it. And all they got to do is, you know, put tattoos on me and I got the role. Mm-hmm. So just don't be afraid. Um, do, do your thing, you know, do That's your amazing. thing. Because again, there's going to be, it's, there's so many gangsters you know that they yeah. can choose from but if you throw something out there that catches their attention they're gonna want to get you because um that's just the way it is and yeah. that, that was my experience in SWAT when I got the audition for SWAT yeah how'd that so, happen so what happened is I got the script I read it um I memorized it real good so I'm like okay cool now I could play with the reactions my emotions whatever it is you know um it didn't say anything about holding a cigarette, so I was reading it. And but but to me, the character looked like he would be holding a cigarette, you know, or, or just smoking because a, a cop is talking to him, and you know, you know, gangsters gonna ignore whatever they say, whatever, right? So, in my head, I'm like, okay, a lot of actors that are gonna come in, they're gonna just go based on this. They're not gonna add anything because they're probably like, oh, they didn't ask to add a cigarette. Mm. I didn't care. I'm like, you know what? It's in my head. It's it's gonna sound real. I'm a I'm going to add a cigarette. So I got a piece of paper. I tore it up and I rolled it up into a cigarette. Look, uh, you know, look alike, right? Yeah. So I went in. I, it was my turn to go up. And um, my my scene was there. They were reading the lines. I was giving her my, my lines. I was making it look real. I was ignoring like if she was the cop, whatever. At the end of the scene is... um. It's my blog. We belong here. You don't. That's my. That's the ending of that scene, right? So as I'm saying that, I'm like, uh, my my family's been here since 1969. We belong here. You don't. So I hit the. I took a toke of the cigarette, and I threw it to the casting director's face, and I wa- I turned around and walked away. A lot of people would not have. <laughs> oh no, no, for real, for oh, real. Yeah. So yeah. to change something that drastically, but well, that's exactly. going to capture them. Yeah, that, like, those yes. intangibles. They that's that's that. really yeah. cool. That yeah. Was- I'm gonna use that. that. <laughs> when I turned, the, when I turned, Ricardo the, was like, "You did that?" What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was <laughs> like, who, who was the casting director? Yeah, 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 I know, right? So when no, I turned, when I when I when I finished my character, I turned around, I'm like, "Oh, my bad, sorry, sorry." Like, I, was I, just, like, I, just, I was in the moment. She's like, "Oh no, no, you know what? That was perfect." Like, because yeah, everybody oh else was God, the same. Like, it was basic, yeah. and you were special. To, That's awesome. Yeah, to the point where she was like, "Um, what, have you been here before?" Well, I'm like, "Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, but um." She, and then she told me, no, man, that, that, that was really good. Like, like, thank you for coming in. Uh, we appreciate what you did. Um, thank you. So I just wanted to feel comfortable leaving that room that I, I just did knowing, what I had to do. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that you did yeah. everything like, that you could. Yeah. Even though I added the cigarette, whatever. And, you know, at times they, they don't want you to add anything, you know. Yeah. But to me, I just like, man, who cares? Like, I, I'm, mm. I'm going to try to make it look as yeah. best as I can. And real, even the the look, the face expression. Everything on time. So 
boom, I did that. Um, you know, I left. The next day, I woke up to missed calls from my agent. E- missed emails. Um, I don't you hate it. that feeling though? I know it's the worst. Yeah, feeling. Well, I hate that. Well, good thing it wasn't. I, I didn't wait a week or two days. It right. was the next day. Literally, the, the next day, I woke up and I'm like, oh, my agent, whatever. I call. I call her and she's like, yeah, Steve, I've been calling you because um, did you check your email? I'm like, no, I haven't. She's like, okay, well, congratulations. They they want you for SWAT. And I'm like, like yeah. oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Dang, that's I was like, oh man, for real, that's cool. That, like, no, that was that was amazing because I mean, I remember when they started that show SWAT. First, I'm a fan of the movie. Then mm-hmm. they did the show. Yeah. I used to see the billboards. Amazing. You know? yeah, yeah, I remember that. The movie yeah. was a clutch movie. Oh yeah, it was bro. a good movie, a real good movie. One of my favorite movies too. Yeah. Um, so I will see, you know, billboards that they made a show of SWAT. And I'm like, damn, that's cool. That's what's up. Like, you know, like of course you daydream, like, man, I wish I could be part of that. <laughs> yeah, show. that's like what else? Man, I didn't even know I would have been part of that show. You know, and yeah. I got the email. They're like, oh, my God, we loved what Steve did at the audition room. We would love for him to be, you know, the character for Marcos on SWAT. And I was like, oh, my God, like it worked. Yeah, you know, it worked like the whole yeah, secret yeah. thing worked. You know, I, I had the balls to just do it. Like, who cares? You know, and yeah. that's what I meant. Like, I'm not really overacting or disrespecting anybody. But if they want that realism of that character, I'm going to bring it. They're going to get it. They're going to get And that's, you know? you know, and that's super important that you say that because again, um, you just said something that we had talked to, talked about kind of message about on Instagram, right. you know, having balls. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you yeah, know, so, and yeah. I just want to give the audience and give our, our, you know, our people, our listeners, a, an experience, you know, of mm-hmm. that, you know, that's yeah. the story that you kind of wanted to share with us in terms right. of, I said, you know, I want to talk to the people mm-hmm. about having, balls you know some right. people we know it right here guys it's yeah oh yeah essence, do right? you remember when lauren was coaching somebody for a stranger things role and the guy that got it like she was so upset because he was like oh he didn't follow like the script at all like he did something mm-hmm. totally out oh. of the box and like that's what got him the role though like yeah yeah, yeah he did something different yeah he didn't do what they asked for but like sometimes he had the balls and he just sometimes you have to you yeah. have to just go for it you have to, to right and that's and that leads us into the round yeah. two right round yeah. two Guys, we're going to get into that, right? Into what it takes, okay. what it really, you know, the essence, the essence behind you mm-hmm. um, and, you know, your upbringing, maybe, you know, spirituality. Right. You talked about God, okay. you know, that obviously gives you the essence or slash the balls, you know, <laughs> to, like you referred to, to, to do something like that. You know, right. like you guys, Kevin and Matt saw my face. I was a little shocked mm-hmm. that you did throw the cigarette in the casting director's face. But, you know, what it does to me is it opens my, my eyes up to... Mm-hmm. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Or within and, reason. And I mean, well, yeah, yeah there has within to be a balance reason, of course. Reason. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't feel, but, but realistically, I mean, if you're just dealing with yourself mm-hmm. or a prop, you know, obviously how far could that cigarette have yeah, gone, yeah. really gone? You're probably like, what, so like it was lit and going to yeah. burn. Him, and, like, and that's another thing too. Like, you know, there's a, but realistically, like I was even actually talking to my acting coach and he said, yeah, if you want to do a self tape audition and it's in a garage right. and you want to self tape it with you in the hood of your car saying the lines. Mm hmm why not exactly and i said well because i mean just you know people the casting directors they want you to be in you know frame and they want you you know and they don't want any color on the background yeah any distractions Mm -hmm. or anything like that from you know from your acting he said well aren't there things in movies right yeah you're You're adding to it he said but he said you're adding authenticity to it well no he said but the acting is so much greater than what's going on in the background that you can't get distracted by what's going on. Exactly. Behind. Yeah. Yeah. And There's I was like, like, like it's like, yeah, you might shooting, notice it, yeah. but you're always just going to go back to the actor. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. yeah. And I've, uh, I've kind of thought about that too, but you get on that mind, for, um, my uh, state of mind where it's like, this is what they want. They want a white background. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh, I don't I, want to mess up. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You yeah know and I mean? that's not the way it's, uh, right. it's meant to be right? Right. right. To be able to be persistent, mm-hmm. to have, to bring what you, like you just said yeah, earlier, right. what you've grown up with, mm-hmm. what you know to be true, authenticity, right. what Kevin just said. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that that's something that goes further right. mm-hmm. than any great written script. And I feel like in any self-tape, like you're going to want to bring whatever you're going to bring to set. You right. don't want to be like all like shy and stuff on a self-tape and then be a totally different person on set. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Like that's not yeah. why you got the role. Yeah, no, that, I made sure and, and, uh, and I was ready. I, I made sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you ready ready cigarette. Swat. Because I did you that. Cigarette, yeah, real cigarette. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but of course I didn't light it up or anything, right, but yeah, I'm yeah. just like, you know, boom, whatever. Um, But yeah, going on set, I just, this is always my thing. I got to be ready. Mm-hmm. I got to be ready. I, and I don't want to stutter. I don't want to stumble. I just want to just 
go through it, make it look real. And, and the actor that I'm doing it with, which is Kenneth, he's he's one of the stars on SWAT. He yeah. even felt he's like, bro, like your acting makes me bring out more like attitude mm -hmm. to you. Like you, you just your your acting just like makes it pulls me, it out, it yeah. Because acting is yeah. a lot of reacting, right? And exactly. so it's like if you're working with somebody that's not helping you, right? That's well, like, it's a lot, it's hard. active listening, right? That yeah. Too, yeah. It's my acting coach again, you uh -huh. know. And a shout out to Scott David. Uh -huh. Um, you know, Scott knows that he tells me you have to listen to what I'm giving you, exactly. Because if I'm giving you an unenthusiastic girlfriend that's mm -hmm. super annoyed and like, mm -hmm. well, can we just get out of this car already? I just want to go and get some food versus a really excited girlfriend mm -hmm. that's ready to have some dinner and have a date. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, wow, like that. Your well, reaction is going to change. Yeah, your yeah. reaction. You feed off of that. Totally. You know? yeah. And I think that that's, you know, again, going to the authenticity mm -hmm. point. You know, what I really like, and I don't want people to get um, the wrong idea here because, again, you said it, school is for those, some right. people, of course. you know, acting classes are for some individuals. I just feel like with you, you've always oh. really stuck to what you know. Right, right. Exactly. And came out guns blazing Yes, is what I mean. Yes. You know, like you really... You know, you're not trying to go too far out mm -hmm. of, you know, what you know. And mm -hmm. you even said it. You, and yeah. what I really liked about that time that we talked, like I said, on the on the bus headed back from from that scene that we did on on my block, I was like, um, I, you know, I asked you and you said, you know, I don't really like go into doing other like, com you know, comedy characters right, right. or doing like, you know, those guys. Like if I had mm -hmm. to do that character, yeah, then yes. yeah, I think I would definitely go yeah, to yeah, school. Yeah. You, you know, that? I would go. I, and that, and, exactly. and that. That for me, you know, just stuck with me because mm -hmm. what that made me aware of is this man is aware of where his strengths are. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yes. he's using them to advance him as far as he can go. Uh -huh. And then eventually, yeah. once he feels like he needs mm -hmm. to venture out to get those other yeah. roles. There it is. Then he will. Yeah. No, you're right. You're absolutely right, bro. And, and I'm glad that you paid attention to that because that's exactly what I mean. Like, again... If I want to be a comedian or whatever, just a different genre than what I do right now, like playing the hardcore dude or, or, or a criminal, or whatever, because I love action and drama, you know. That but you're typecasted, mind. is and and you yeah. and you work off of the typecast. Right, exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So why, why not? not? Exactly. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't <laughs> fix it, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's one thing if no one's casting you, but you're getting casted. Right. So exactly. I don't gotta do anything else. It's yeah, great. like 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 for instance, Vin Diesel. You never seen him doing like a comedy, comedy like that. You know, like he's yeah. always a tough guy, the bad. So. That's what that's what and even strength, certain you know? things that you know he's done the uh -huh. pacifier right, right. Example, Dude, that exactly. was a great movie. it was so <laughs> you know, but look, but, I was right. singing the Peter Panda dance the other day I was like how do I remember this the like Peter it was stuck right but you see how the movie stuck out so much because look at what Matt just did he kind <laughs> yeah. of brought his arms up yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. Vin Diesel yeah. Yeah. and he did this like gorilla like right, right, movement right, right. because that's what Vin Diesel you know, right. brings up yeah. in people exactly. is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Same thing with Noah OG, right? right he's right. used his typecast very much. So Noah G's, yeah. you know, he's been in Fast mm -hmm. and the Furious. Yeah. He's been in so many of these Training movies. Training day, all that, yeah. And Training then, day, yeah. yeah. And at the same time, Vin Diesel is like a super successful voice actor. He yeah. did, oh, the, yeah. He did the Giant. Iron Giant. Iron Giant. Yeah. Iron Giant. I think he's also Groot. Groot. Yeah, he's, he's Groot. 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 Uh, well, yeah. There's another one in there. I just can't remember off the top of my head, but um, he's done a lot. Well, totally. Right. I mean, even some guys like The Rock, right? Shout out to Dwayne The Rock right. Johnson. He's done Moana, yeah. right? Doing Moana yeah. and getting mm -hmm. into that kind of voiceover. You know, again, Steve, what you said, it's like you get known for something. I right. feel like in... in and, you know, like a lot of people, when I started doing stand-up comedy, they'd be like, oh, you look like George Lopez. Right, and I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah. I mean, but you just, in my mind, uh -huh. I'm like, I don't look like him. I don't but really see it either. But no, but it's yeah, more so like, because what? it's the brown skin and right. that I'm on a stand-up stage. Okay, right. Yeah. But if you, if I, if you Very were Very bare minimum. But yeah. if, for example, I was at the gym, which I have gotten, uh -huh. um, the, I got, hey, you look like Victor Ortiz, the boxer. Oh, okay, uh-huh. I could see right. that too. But mm -hmm. again, it's just because that's the only Mexican boxer with right. like eyebrows like yeah. mine that you've seen that's at my certain skin tone. Uh -huh. uh, if you were to see a guy that, you know, um, like uh, this uh, actor from. Are these other uh, people of. Are they like these white people saying this to you? Typically, typically okay, yeah, it'll yeah. be yeah. Typically, it'll be people that aren't of the same culture, yeah, right? Yeah. But you'll hear, you'll see, even some of these actors uh -huh. nowadays. They just might be a young black upcoming male actor, and right. immediately people will say like, "Oh, he kind of gave us Denzel vibes right there." Uh, and if you really think about it, it's like Denzel's so in his class, mm -hmm. right? Just kind of again like George Lopez. 
I actually would never say that I look when I'm doing something like George Lopez because to, to me, he's a great. Mm -hmm. And to me, I don't compare, you know, right, right, to right. anybody. Right? Just like I'm sure yeah. like you, yeah, it you're, doesn't. You're your own and I feel like something yeah. better to say is you remind me instead of you look like, because like you can like, Somebody could give a performance that reminds you of Denzel Washington mm. without looking like Denzel Washington. That's great. And I feel like That's that would point. just be a way better. Sometimes way they to might mean it. that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, and they just, just use the wrong comes words. Out wrong. Yeah. Totally. And you right. Can't really come across. Just yeah, like with you, maybe some people might be like, "Oh, you look like Noel G." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're acting, something. and yeah. it's like there's no resemblance, like <laughs> right. in terms of you, you know, you just because you guys have a buzz cut yeah. and you know, I mean, some facial hair, and you guys are you know both hispanic yeah but there's really no comparison right and yeah, again of course i feel like that's what yeah. you're talking about yeah, right? yeah yeah he does his own thing i do my own thing meaning like uh his, his acting is different than mine you mm -hmm. know um that, and that's just the way it is bro but um, yeah yeah but, no that's that's um that that's just uh, you know i forgot what the hell this no you're was, good you know? we were but talking what do you like yeah comedian yeah yeah, yeah. we're getting so into the conversation <laughs> yeah, that we're so, losing yeah. track of it no <laughs> yeah. but it's because of the whole comedy thing okay we were that, talking that's about what it was. Okay, with yeah. the comedy yeah. thing what what do you matt you wanted to say well i uh, this was uh sorry a little a little different this is more on like having friends that would go for the same part as you oh yeah it's like how like obviously that's like not a terrible thing because like uh -huh. somebody gets a job you're happy for them but right, it's like oh right. man i'll just get the next one but right. how is it going out for like hey i got this audition what's it for like hey like i think i auditioned for the same character like oh yeah no I does just, that have any strain on your relationship or no 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 i mean it, it, i think this might, might it, even might, happen with the, between us maybe Steve. yeah i, I, I mean, think we went to an audition once uh for for we what was it same, i think is uh i think it's straight or? yeah it was at paramount yeah, and or, no no was that warner bros warner Brothers. it was warner was brothers and yeah. i think it was for i forgot i, I just went once i do my audition <laughs> i just forget <laughs> about it because yeah, if i think of it yeah yeah i i don't even remember what but i actually that was one of the first times i think i ever talk yeah, to you exactly that's what i said about. oh bro like i i i said i i think i said you're on my block right or i think you told me yeah you told me you, you saw me from something i remember it was right there at that bridge where we yeah yeah, yeah. we were the security or something like that totally uh -huh. yeah, yeah but we even so me and him have gone out yeah first, yeah for the same the same, <laughs> same roles yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly but even even like uh friends of mine too where they have to self-tape especially now during this covid right because you can like, only yeah, do self -tape. We, we've gotten the same roles you know and i've done my thing i've done it my way whatever and when i have to help out you know for the audition for him right to, like self tape him and i gotta read for him um no there's there's nothing i mean if he gets it he gets it if he don't right. he don't if we don't get it we don't get it if, if i get it then he's cool like but Cause I, it's not I really always, ultimately it's not you choosing who gets the role yeah and so i was exactly so i um i help him out you know like yeah. at the end of the day i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna show him my audition because i don't want to distract how he probably wants mm -hmm. to perform it right so yeah. i tell him hey yeah. do, do it how you want to do it and then after then i'll show you so that way you know if you want if yeah you want because them, we help each other out yeah, you exactly. know i definitely especially in these times yeah so, well on, well on top of that matt what i mean so more so is like um being raza you know mm -hmm. being latino and right. being both again going after certain roles uh -huh. um like i've noticed yeah i do have friends like that you know when i worked on swat mm -hmm. i the guy that shot me and then the guy that was my boss he we are all good friends now yeah. uh, you know alejandro and and luis and and we get to these points of we're going after the same roles yeah. so yeah, it's, it's like you have to help each other it's like a little community yeah, yeah, right and just, i think you'd rather see it go to one of your friends or something instead of some stranger yeah, it's like, hey i'm happy for right, you man right like, that's but, good. but um i've come to uh this is kind of sucks to say but it, it has come to a point where there is jealousy oh, okay yeah. for the ones that you think they're your friends oh you know and they might those are the ones that might say like oh no i can't i can't help you bro because i'm doing something but then you look at the story they're not doing what they said they were doing so i'm like right. oh, what the hell like mm. okay i figure like maybe just, yeah. at least be real just tell yeah, me nah, you, you know, know, don't so, want to help me instead right of lying. and then um but but no nah, getting deeper into the game i i have realized certain people have changed i don't want to judge them by it but it's to me it's funny how like say for instance i get i get something right all of a sudden they got time for me you know, like if I get, um, if I book something, right? Yeah. During the time that I'm not, or at least I'm showing that I'm not doing nothing on my IG, which that doesn't mean I'm not doing yeah, anything. Right. Privacy. <laughs> but, privacy. Yeah. but there's a time where, you know, you're not on there. They won't hit you up. Like, hey, bro, are you, are you okay? I haven't seen you on uh, on IG for a while. I just mm -hmm. want to make sure you, whatever. Certain people have, mm -hmm. but they're not the close friends you thought were yeah. going to be the ones that yeah. hit you up. I get hit up by strangers. Hey, man, I haven't seen you on this. And I don't even know these people. And you're like, well, mm -hmm. thanks for your concern, yeah, bro. Exactly. <laughs> but, but close homies that I thought, 
they won't check up on you. I mean, and then that's where I kind of start thinking like, okay, so but but who then, are my real friends? Yeah, but then when I get something, they're they're there, you know, like hey, yeah, let's go, to, let's go to say here, something, or, yeah, yeah to, so, or to get some, or to or when they're there when the check rent. comes, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're there when so the check comes. So we going out to celebrate right. or what? Yeah, yeah or what, what, or even just like. Hey, bro! I saw you on on that show. You think uh-huh. I, you could get me in or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, and is I'm there a like, background role for me, bro? bro like, do you think I'm like an agent? Yeah, exactly. I'm not yeah. a casting director. Right. What are you saying, Kev? Like, it's like, oh, just do what I did. Go do some background Be stuff. Be persistent. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. you know, again, uh-huh. yeah, go I, I do that. I, I give them the link to Central <laughs> Casting. That, that's <laughs> yeah, that's, that's as bro. far as I go. Yeah, because I can't, I can't do anything for as far as that, you know, because totally, my my agent is my agent, and I mean, I'm not gonna. If ever, there's a hundred people asking me, I'm not gonna throw a hundred people to my agent. Yeah, what? I can't. You know? Yeah, like, totally. It's, like, it's, it's too, it's too many. And yeah. honestly, también another thing is like us Latino people. Like, let's be real, carnal. Uh-huh. It's like there's a lot of us. You know, right. I know a lot of fools that look yeah. the same. Yeah. You know, no offense, like you know, but it's like I look the same as a lot of Mexicans that mm-hmm. I may know. I look a lot. I look the same as some of my cousins. You know. Right. And I think that that's just things that you know we need. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right. So like, once you get to a certain point we need to have that realism we need mm-hmm. to have somebody telling us like hey you know what like mm-hmm. you know make sure that you get that work done don't yeah. just ask me right exactly. Am I right yeah and don't get me wrong i mean uh, that doesn't mean i'm 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 um, afraid of like oh their their competition like i could i could care less because again i believe in me i believe in, in what i do i believe the way i i act my uh my craft is just my craft you know but i'm not I'm not going to hate on anybody that's going to come in the game and be like, oh, man, I shouldn't have introduced it. Like, no, if if I got something going on on my end, like, a, you know, a project that I have going on, mm-hmm. if that's where I'm able to involve my homies or whatever, my friends, you know, stuff like that, because now I have a say. But mm. in like, you know, but I feel like you're a featured extra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if you're in, in, in like, for instance, SWAT, I, I have no say, you know, I can't bring nobody yeah, into that. That you know? has like, nothing or, to or do my with block, you. you know, yeah, it's it's just. When it's my time to grow and if it, if it continues to grow the way it's growing or I have power to, you know, bring the, the raza or my friends, claro, also, claro. then I could help you out. Like yeah, the level and of I like, think yeah. that you're getting to that point. Yeah. Like I'm saying, yeah, like yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. you're kind of in yeah, chase no, of that. We've, we've yeah. kind of talked about that. Like exactly. to yeah. try to get ourselves more to our series regular. Right. Towards right. where now they ask you. Right. And, mm-hmm. and, and I mean, series regular as the lead. Right. Right. Where right. now, you know, because I think that's another thing, too. Like no offense to anybody, but it's like, bro, I'm just getting started too. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. I'm not. Like, me, so I'm still putting my dues in, man. Yeah, bro. Like yeah. exactly, yeah. man. Thank you. Saw you me on yeah. the show, but like that's that's like I wasn't just in a couple episodes or something. Yeah, it does it. Yeah. I'm not the one you're getting ahead of yourself. Right. Yeah. You're ahead of me. Yeah. And then, and then with SWAT, yeah, since that first uh, episode I did got me the second and then third, mm-hmm. fourth. So I, now, totally. now and they kept writing you back yeah. in. So now it made it like, oh, I do have say because I'm in more additional episodes. Now but, you're a series regular right. versus just being a recurring. Exactly. And but, terms, right? So many right. terms. But uh-huh. but not even that I could bring that. That's just still going under the production. You know, like that's just I, I can't help you out. Right. Still, it's you know? like you I can't, can't get them up. in the door to the project. Exactly. You know? And I think that that's a misconception. Right. Right. So, that that mm-hmm. there's a the lack of, that goes into that. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll get mad at you like, oh, you just don't want to help me. It's like, dude, I literally Yeah, no, can't. It's, it's not that. I mean, I, if I could, I could help everybody. Like, again, I, I did this yeah. um, one film called Slipping Into Darkness. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had a say in that, you know? So I was able to help out, like, you know, friends um that were working with me on certain films. But also, it's not just someone that's off the street, like, hey, bro, give me into acting, whatever. I see that they're also being persistent in their work, too. And they're which working. Which made me feel like, okay, yeah, he could he could do it. He could pull it off. I'm going to bring it on. No auditions were needed for that because I felt that they already knew what they were supposed to do and how right. they could do it. So I, was, I had a say to bring them yeah. in. And they jumped on board and pretty much... I mean, that's that's my way of proving to whatever homie things that I'm not trying to hype, um, help them. I could help them. But once I have say in it, mm-hmm. so yeah. slipping into darkness came about and got picked up by HBO. And hey, I mean, hey. I didn't my, know it was, you know, my, that's my, awesome. Hey, I, I didn't know that. When did that happen? Yeah. this. Uh, so when it got picked up, I think it was the uh, 2019 la- or 18. Okay. Got you. I forgot which one. But yeah, we went to the film festival. Um, because I found out crazy. about it last year oh, when, okay, yeah. on your Instagram. Oh, so that's when it was released, yeah. It was released so, last year. Okay, so before it. that, we had won the, the award at the film festival. Well, what award was that, Karan? Do you this remember? This was uh, somewhere in Coachella. I, I okay, that, so it was in Coachella, Coachella Film yeah, Festival? I believe so. It might have been that. Okay, got it. Um, and yeah, there was representatives and from HBO and stuff like that. So they, they, saw, they saw the film. And a lot of people were winning awards that day. 
uh, so many people were winning awards and i was like man uh, we haven't even won they eh? were like damn but they waited till the end like we were the last ones yeah and the, the whole introduction was like okay this film really touched my heart like i was watching it and i i just someone was calling me and it, it made me not want to get off of my seat so i'm like hold on hold on whatever they watched it this is a beautiful um 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 film and we would like to you know give the award to slipping into dark and you know so i was like oh like, yeah you know that now, and everybody now we like how they're going crazy exactly. right now so that's what happened and i mean and where can they get on, where can they check out slipping into dark they could check that out on hbo on all right. hbo platforms okay you know, they could okay. check that out so slipping into darkness on on hbo you know Got hbo it. max and all that stuff and what would you have to say that what, what is that film about uh it's a it's just a film without about, giving us too much we yeah, want to watch yeah, it. No, spoilers. no it's pretty much uh you know the the way uh we're raised like as Latinos. Um, mm -hmm. We grew up in the environment of like the gang life and this and that. Mm. Um, but this character has a kid, you know, and he has a wife that he has to support. Um, a friend from jail comes out, mm. tries to bring him back into that lifestyle, mm. but he's in the in the verge of trying to change, you know, for his family. But he comes into a situation where he gets fired from his job. Mm. Now he has to be kind of forced to let me try get Just to back make into this, mean. yeah. Exactly. So you got the point. So that's yeah. pretty much what it and is. And I heard, I saw I saw that in the yeah. in the actual trailer. Yeah. Right. In the so, trailer, uh -huh. it shows that right yeah. that friend yeah. and kind of yeah him kind of getting like you said you know slipping into darkness. Yeah. Which yeah. I really yeah. love. I, I love like, that slipping title. back into darkness. You know, but it, it's a good story. I mean, that's that's the description I could give you. You know, so I won't mm -hmm. say too much. Yeah. And definitely. yeah, you got it. You we know? appreciate. Yeah, it. We'll so, definitely you know? check that out, guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we you. we we love to support the people that come to the show, yeah. right? Everything that you're doing, mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously we know on my blog, oh, my blog has man, gotten picked up for show. season four. Yeah, that's we are huge. so yes. hyped up. Yeah. Um, you know, I know that just like me, and you know, we can't really talk yeah, too much yeah, about certain not, things, yeah. but NDA. we <laughs> hope that they will bring us back yeah, 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 <laughs> for yeah, yeah. for some episodes, right? Yeah. On my blog, you better bring us back. Me and my boy yeah, Steve yeah, from the Santos gang members, you already know. Um, that's something that you know even working with you brother i've been uh -huh. really excited about um that project and yeah. the projects that you do and like you said i when i started to even my cousins you know my family members mm -hmm. um just different people that i felt like should be or would excuse me would be supporting me right oh, weren't right, right exactly. oh, yeah I feel and you. and i was like man even with this podcast mm -hmm. you know i okay. will say like i reached out to certain people right that I felt like, hey, bro, like, come on to the show. Like, you know, we've been friends forever. Right. Like, and it was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I, I don't really, you know, like, like yeah. to be in front of the camera or like, I don't really know how to talk. Like, and I'm like, well, that's that's not the point. The point mm -hmm. is that I'm, I'm asking you to come help me out. Like, right, right, you know, right, I don't yeah. I'm not telling you to be perfect. I'm right. just telling you to be you. you. Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. and and something like same yeah, thing no, happened same between th us. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah like that's just, how I asked you, like, hey, just come over here and talk. But yeah, yeah. You've also noticed that I'm sure. Right. With Yes. I, I mean, and, and I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's it's also been in my family where they don't believe in me, you know, at, at some point. Um, mm -hmm. It's like, oh, why be an actor yeah. when you could yeah, make exactly. money yeah, or work, it, something right. else. And, work construction? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Typical Latino. Exactly. Job. So, and I, again, I got nothing against what they've said in the past, whatever it is, but that also itself helped me push myself to, to like, you know what? You, yeah. I'm going to prove them wrong. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So, that's one of the um, um, things that helped me push myself to like, you know what? I'm going to show them. I know I'm the quiet you know, sh well, I was shy, mm -hmm. um, but I, I know I was a quiet one. But you know what? I could do this. You know, I could mm -hmm. do it. And, and I and I did it just yeah. the same way I graduated because I I also didn't graduate on the year I was supposed to graduate. But high school. So, yeah, high school. Got it. So um, something told me, like, you know, what? I'm not going to give up. I think it was my brother who told me, like, you know, because at the time he was like, don't be dumb. You're not going to finish high school. You're not this. You're not you're not whatever it is. Right. So. Not that he said something bad, but I'm kind of glad he told me that because that helped me push myself to graduate high school. Even though I was already kicked out of my high school, I found different resources to go to a different school 
and I got my high school diploma, bro. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. man. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. That's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. Because pe- most people would have given up, you know? Yeah. Totally. And a lot of people in our areas do give up. Exactly. You know, they just start working. Right. They just start going off of that. Yeah. Right, Kev? Yeah. I'm sure with you, you know, you see. No, I've had that. cousins who dropped out and stuff. Yeah, and like yeah, even on my dad's side, like his grandpa right. uh, pulled his dad out of school in the fourth grade. He was like, I only went to the fourth grade. That's all oh, I wow. needed. And it's like, you couldn't survive with that nowadays yeah. getting pulled no, out. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. you need an education. Yes. Whatever yeah. way it can come yeah, from, right, Carnal? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I think that that's something, you know, that leads into our next round. Last and final round, guys. <laughs> you guys already know manifestation, guys. This round, uh, Steve, I was talking to you earlier about uh-huh. manifestation, right? right? And right. I think that this goes so much into what you just thought your story right, was, right. right? About your brother uh-huh. kind of putting Push, that uh-huh. light under your ass, per yeah, se, exactly. right? <laughs> right, right. That, and, and saying like, you know, hey. Like, let's get to it, right? Right. So manifestation, Mm -hmm. you know, we're huge on manifestation here at Raz Radio Mm -hmm. because we manifest things to come to be, you know? And sometimes people don't know what's manifestation. I want to explain. Um, For those of you that don't understand what manifestation is, manifestation, um, also known as the, you know, the law of attraction, right? The secret, you know, certain things, affirmations, things that people do, Steve. Um, I, I call it prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mornings I wake up and I get those positive affirmations going, right? Talking to myself, meditation. Mm -hmm. I even treat a run like Mm -hmm. meditation, right? right? And I'm talking to myself, I'm manifesting and I'm thinking. So I'm thinking about what it is that I want to bring into my life. And and I'm seeing those things come to be. And what I mean by that is I imagine myself pulling up in that Lamborghini. Right, right. I oh, imagine cool. myself getting. I'll a take table. that BMW when you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. I, can't, I, I, I imagine myself getting a tailor right. to tailor my measurements for mm. a suit. Nice. Okay. Just to go do a red carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Event, right? You feel what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, you show. get yeah. the vibe, right? So I feel that, and then I go for a run. Uh-huh. And then I say, this is going to make me look the best right once i get that get tailor that to come in, a, yeah. in, in in a little bit mm-hmm. of time frame right mm-hmm. or you know this this food that i'm eating this that i'm cooking you right. know everything that i do i start to align it uh-huh. with the purpose of what i want Wants to bring to into bring. my life right mm-hmm. so for you steve this being our last round uh-huh. i wanted you to with everything that you've left us with, it's been amazing. Your journey right. has been crazy. It's clear. inspiring, man. It's so yeah, ins- thank you. inspiring, you yeah. know? And and I, I wanted to say that it, mm-hmm. it can definitely bring out the best in a lot of people. Oh, so for, sure. for the manifestation part, what would you say that you do to uh-huh. bring things into your life? Like, obviously, we know being mm-hmm. persistent, all that. Right, but right. what other things, brother? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, um, again, I always, I'm always putting God first. And then pretty much what you just said right now as well, like you just, you, you start thinking um, ahead of time per se. Like, you know, you just said right now, your suit, you want to look good on this day and then you get ready for it. So that's pretty much me, myself. Um, I want to be ready for it. When that time comes, you know, I, I'm, I'm good. So what pushes me is um just uh I al- I always think about the time what I just told you right now that my brother he told me this about you know high school and I just I pushed myself to do it. So that led me to even in this industry if I feel like I can't do it, I go back to remembering that hey, I I finished high school when mm-hmm. a lot of people would have given up. Mm-hmm. I used the car that I had to not go party and do drink and do, you know, I used it to look for another resource to find, like for me to get myself a high school diploma. So I used it for that. Um, but whatever it is that I have, I mean, I just, I just go for it, bro. Like, I mean, and I use all that stuff and it helps me and it pushes myself to like, you know, you could do it. You could do it. And same thing with, with like, you know, working out, I've been lagging it. Right. But I go back to the high school thing. Then I go back to how I made it in acting. And I'm like, you know what? I could do this. I could get back into shape, you know? So mm-hmm. I'm going to do it, you know? Totally. And, and then there's there's a project coming up, you know, within two months. And I want to be ready because I know this project that I do tends to, you know, have you be shirtless or on a muscle shirt, whatever. So mm. I want to be ready for that. Of you know? course. I, whatever I could do, you know? But um, I just, that pushes me to... Yeah, envisioning with, with those yeah. things right also um the, and this comes for projects that i have in mind too like okay. if i see something and i pictured it that's that's just the way i want to do it so i'm just that's or if you see me quiet or just thinking or being a pensativo or whatever it's uh-huh. because i'm thinking of 
that you know what how, how i'm gonna make my project work out pretty mm. good which led to you know the the music video that, that yeah I did, yeah, you know, yeah. So and i yeah. want to yeah. give it yeah, up yeah. to you brother that that music video so if you guys haven't watched it i actually want you to promote it brother because yeah, yeah, yeah. i honestly grew up right with mc magic yes, right yes. and oh, yes. and just like the vibe you know that he yeah. would bring and oh, yeah. the the just electricity that you would right. get of pride, you know, right. when you'd see these Latino rappers mm -hmm. and, you know, MCs, yeah. Yeah. this was what they called themselves back right. in the day, right? Um, how'd that come to be? And, and, right. and we'll talk so, to where they could find it first. Okay, well, the official music video to Lost in Love mm. um, by MC Magic, you can find it on YouTube. It's it's on his actual, um, actual YouTube page, mm. uh, MC Magic, MC Magic. Uh, YouTube, you know? You can find it there. Um, so how that idea came about, man, this was <laughs> way back when I first heard the song. And, wow. and I how was long ago was that? Man, this was this well, the we song. It, the song, yeah, the song was made in '95. Oh, I believe. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. I was born that. in '94. Yeah, '95. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was. Yeah, I, yeah, I, was, yeah, I, was a few I think years that's old. when it was made, and I think he put it out, or they put it out in '98. Mm -hmm. So the moment I was able to, well, the moment I heard the song, I just listened to it. I I, I heard it. And I was waiting, like, oh, this is this will be a cool little music video. I I imagined what the music video would look like. So, mm. and this was I was this was me being a kid, you know, yeah. Think, <laughs> thinking already how I would imagine I, I mean, how you would how direct would, the yeah, scene yeah. per se. So you know, so how it would have been made, whatever. So um, uh, time goes by. There's no music video, you know. I'm out, and then years go by. And I searched it up on YouTube, you know, like let's see if they ever made a music video, and they Nothing. never made one, you know. So I believe in 2019, he did a remix of it and, yeah. you know, of his version. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. But it was a remix. It wasn't, uh, it it wasn't, wasn't for the, the original. Oh, original, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So it's, the, it's still the same song, Lost in Love again. But it's just a remix it, Yeah, version. it was a remix version. So I'm like, oh, oh, cool. So he didn't do the original. So, okay, cool. I still have a chance to <laughs> create this story. Well, not create it. I already had it in mind since I was a little kid. Whatever I wow. imagined it now i'm older now i'm in the industry you know uh, a little deeper in the industry so now i have you know leverage to film this with my people with my team you know my film team so i uh i wrote it down on a piece of paper you know i'm not i'm not a writer so i don't know how to how to, how to put it in a structure format. how to yeah. structure yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so i just wrote it down whatever i thought i i sent it to my boy um um david well I, my compadre alex and then he shot it to david and he wrote it and he structured it in the writer's format so i'm like okay this is cool so he the reason why he put that so when we film it we go step by step right mm -hmm. so i was like all right cool let, let, let's do it I, i'm down like let's do it you know so i told them the idea i gave, I gave them the idea but it's still they don't know what i have in here did you, know, you direct it or did you get a director uh, i got a director but i i was also part of directing it you know, because, because it's just what this yeah is. right yeah, it's your right. idea yeah so. it's my idea so i imagined how you know it would look so Anyway, they did their thing, and the way it came about is just like, yeah, I want to be, you know, I want to get, you know, an actress, you know, that that's professional, whatever. Um, and this is how I want to do it. This is the scenes that I want to get, whatever. And you know, I spoke to NC Magic about it once it was, uh, you know, uh, completed yeah, yeah. and everything. And anyway, before that, I hit up Noel. You know, oh, okay, my, Noel is my boy. He's like my brother. You know, so I told him, hey, um, um you're you cool with mc magic like you you know because i see you with pictures with everybody i just i never seen you with him you know he's like oh no yeah he's cool he's very humble i'm like oh, all right cool um, yeah, um is there any way like maybe we could you know link up you know uh, I, there's something i, I want to show him and then this was already it was already completed there's something i want to show him and I, i'm sure he My would man. appreciate it you know so again <laughs> this comes to the persistence thing right so <laughs> now i'm just like i'm gonna just go for it so he's like yeah yeah let me hit him up and then um he reached out to me. Well, actually, he sent me the number. I reached out to him, and I pretty much explained it to him. Like, hey, what's up, MC? Um, I, <laughs> I was yeah, like, hey, what's up? up? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what's up, bro? Yeah, I mean, he's very humble, man. Like, oh, okay. As soon as I, I heard him, you know, pick up the phone right away, he picked it up like, Steve, what's up, bro? Like, like he was like already, wow. I just felt I felt his humbleness already. So I'm like, oh, what's up? Uh, Magic, what's up, man? How's it going? My bad, man. Like, whatever. He's like, nah, nah, it's all good, man. What's up? What's up? So I, I threw him the idea, and I, I pretty much broke it down to him. Like, this is this song inspired me to just make this video to your when song you were which is when i was a kid you know and i told him it's it's lost in love i know you you did a music i mean i know you did a remix of it he's like oh yeah 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 
and like but you never did an actual uh video to the original right he's like yeah we never did it bro like whatever so i'm like all right cool well i don't know man i wanted i wanted to show you something that i'm sure that you would like you know and i mean i put it together i've always had it in you know the back of my head ever since i was a kid now that i'm older i'm able to create this storyline for it so i want to shoot it to you and see you know if you could give me your blessings with it so you're like yeah yeah shoot me shoot, shoot it over and he um sent me his uh his link to his um his page so i'm like all right cool i'll get it to you within like maybe two hours so i had to go do some little adjustments to the video i got it done i sent it to him and i'm like i just text him I'm like all right it's sent bro you know whatever so he texts me back after maybe like four minutes because he had to watch it and he's like whoa bro this is amazing in capital letters you know and then like i'm like oh cool that's what's up he liked it like two seconds went by his you know my phone's ringing so i'm like hey what's up dog? what's up dog? he's like steve steve man oh my god man i i am so honored bro that you oh my god the the video is exactly what the song is saying oh my god yeah bro. Wow. So that's cool. oh, that's yeah so, cool. so, so we were able to link up collab you know and yeah, yeah he, he loved it bro and you know we we talked he we just, i mean he, he loved it and that's that's, that's all i wanted to get is just his approval of him liking the song you mm -hmm. know and I mean, I was just excited that he liked it, man. And, and that's where my ideas came to play. And, and again, even though, because I've been in the industry for a while, even though I had this in mind already, I was still hesitating. Like, man, should I do it or not? Should I do it or not? Mm, should right. I do it? And that was going on for like a year or, or, or a little more, you know? And I was like, damn, you know what? One day se me pegó el, el foco. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, you know what? I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do it, you know? Like, yeah. I'm going to just do it, you know? And I, that's where I got my people together. So anyway, he... um he approved of it he liked it he's like yeah man let's let's do it <laughs> so crazy. he put it out on his page that's yeah. awesome and he didn't change anything he just like no he, he didn't change that's, it that's even he, better he, he that said so it cool. right there like you know whatever everything the song says it's exactly what on the that's video amazing, like you, you did an amazing job steve you know thank you i'm very very humble you're a good dude man like oh my god thank you and i don't know thank you for the inspiration you know like for the song yeah. that says and i know there's a lot of lovers out there in the world you know that, 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 <laughs> that can relate to this yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. you know walks at the beach you know spending time together totally. you know all that stuff, well you know? really i like what i liked about the music videos you really uh, of course you know i watched it you uh -huh. know you really portrayed the old school feel yes. of music videos yes. which was those two people right especially yeah. like in r&b yeah and yeah stuff, whatever course, even yeah, in yeah. the Pac videos remember the yeah, music yeah, yeah. Pac music videos <laughs> he was just like yep. just, oh like he was oh, just yeah, you already know Tupac, man, we miss you. But yeah. yes, MC Magic, like even those things, like, you know, having that vibe of, right. you know, you're seeing this, the, it's a cinema, almost like a cinematic yes. sequence, right? Yes. That's what I got yeah. in what you did. Yeah, brother. no, I, that's exactly what it is. That's you know, amazing. It's, it's, it, work. it is what it is. And yeah, I, I love the whole slow motion thing. I mean, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, what we were talking about earlier, like, why do you think people judge you for you know or not judge you but how, why do you why do you think they don't they don't think you go to church so the same thing with this mm. when they look at me they don't think i'm all romantic and you know lovey dovey whatever but what i created is that is kind of my personality as well yeah very like loving caring you know and i mean if you know like if it they comes like down, it. that's just, yeah. that's just my right. idea you that's know the that's, way that's that, the way i did it you know that's amazing brother yeah, and you know you. that goes I, so well into the manifestation mm -hmm. the manifestation of everything because like you just said you manifested mm -hmm. that music video since yeah. you were a kid right, yes. right? that's what yeah. I'm picking up yeah, guys exactly. what about oh, you and I, yeah. that's crazy you like really embodied a dream that you had and made yes. it happen and then it ended up being kind of his dream too yeah. and it just worked out that's yeah. so and then awesome. what I love about that story is it shows that manifestation doesn't do everything right like you still have to have some action yeah. some go ahead oh, on your course. end to yeah. make it like it's not just going to pop into your yeah. life well, some because persistence. you want it to. exactly yeah. Yeah. That yeah. and you know and again you going into having your persistence as a man right steve i yeah. think that that's the biggest thing right like yeah. having your persistence already embodied in you mm -hmm. almost ingrained in your dna right, right. which way, what i mean is like when you have persistence you do it in every part of your life right it's not just one you know yeah. and and 
that means, okay, yeah, I'm going to be persistently loving to my family, but I'm mm -hmm. also going to be persistently hardworking at yeah. work. Mm -hmm. I'm also, I'm going to be persistent in treating my friends or in your good, faith. Good, you know, yeah. or in being persistent in my faith, you know, read my Bible mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. um, read a script every day. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. Matt said it last time. He said, we we're talking about consistency and he said, sometimes it gets tired. And he said, I feel, and I remember this, Matt, I remember specifically, he said, I feel that personal consistency mm -hmm. is the hardest thing to keep up with. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, because yeah. like you were talking about with the working out and yeah, all that, right? Out. Because and, you, and not to mention, I also have kids too. So I got to put time into mm -hmm. them as well. And, it's just and shout out to the, and Matt too. Matt also yeah. is a stepfather to oh, a nice. young, young yeah. daughter. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. And yeah. that's, you know, so he knows, you know, he gets, he gets caught up. You know, I right. feel like we all during these times. Yeah. But again, the persistence, brother, mm -hmm. you know, and that, that's something that I want the audience. I want you guys to really take care of guys mm -hmm. on your end is manifestation doesn't work without persistence, you know, right. and persistence can only take you so far. Right. But yes, you have to envision yourself mm -hmm. the way you talked about exactly. it, Steve, already in that moment, mm -hmm. right? And you envisioning even yourself in this music video. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that was, exactly. what, what was oh, it? I man. think we had, it had like uh, 20, 24,000, 20, 24, 25,000 views in the last like 48 hours. Yeah. No, yeah, it, it, it I mean, up, it really, it yeah, really yeah, kicked ass. Awesome. And would you say that was like 500 views? every hour yeah because yeah. I, I think it came out like maybe two, uh, 48 yeah, hours ago yeah, two yeah, days yeah, ago yeah, yeah max ago, yeah. um but what i said is like even if it is 48 it hasn't been yeah, two yeah. days but even if it is 48 mm -hmm. hours to have twenty four thousand yeah. views Let's see how many it's got right now hold on yeah, that's yeah. literally <laughs> yeah um 500 views an hour yeah no yeah. and it's a it's a huge song a lot of that's people probably but i think it's not but they they know the song every every time I, I brought it up to like oh yeah I'm it's at twenty eight thousand right now oh I see it's bro <laughs> it's so climbing that is so two cool. hours yeah. ago hey, yo, literally hey, live you know? like increasing as we like yeah. talked about it earlier yeah. that's exactly so cool. guys so if you guys yeah. haven't already check out my main man Stevie I got in that oh, yeah. music video yeah. right? in, on lost YouTube in uh -huh. yeah lost YouTube, in love yeah. and they can check that out on youtube mm -hmm. also hear the song on any platform really right oh, yeah the song is the song is the been there yeah, for it's, it's the song is worldwide but yeah. the music video itself yeah. i'm sure it's going to reach other platforms oh, of course, you yeah. know but for right now it's right. on youtube yes right on YouTube. and they can check it out but yeah. i'm so proud of you brother no, for you, that. Bro. that's Appreciate a huge that. accomplishment you, and, and accomplishment excuse me and it feels great because i'm sure like for you it's like your baby right you yeah. produced it yeah yeah no i put it together um and of course my team helped me put it together um but the idea did come from me you know that's and amazing. i did imagine myself doing what you see me doing on the on the you know the uh -huh. video that's exactly what how i had pictured it when i was a little kid that someone's talking to a girl like a face to face you know like that so classic I never music saw video. It, so i just made it happen yeah. yeah 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 no that's amazing brother so obviously for today my brother that yeah. is it bro oh, good, this oh, is good. obviously your standing ovation you can <laughs> see the kids are here every single person that comes to the show brother i'd like to make sure that they leave us with their info their right, social okay. media platform all that good stuff okay. um where they can find you if mm -hmm. they want you know if you also want to give out your email maybe you know for booking information okay. or you know but let us know where you know they can find you on social media, right? Okay, or where cool. even production wise. Now you're getting into producing yeah, your yeah. music videos, yeah, right? Yeah, man, so yeah. let them know, so, brother, where they can find you. Okay, so yeah, you can find me on social media. My only social media platform as of now is uh, IG. So at Viegas V I L L E G A S underscore zero seven twelve. Um, nice. and as far as that, I mean, I, I actually did just create a tiktok just because I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying i'm just trying to get go. out there i mean there's nothing on there but that'll be the the next thing so stay tuned for that also um if you want to book me yeah it's my email is steve viegas my first and last name steve viegas 1986 at gmail.com that's where you could find me and book me if you guys want whatever we'll talk whatever after you email me you know um <laughs> and then go. uh yeah and then my my production team that created this you know music mm -hmm, video totally um it's at four ways um that's on ig um Great. at four ways and you can find everything right there from who produced it who directed it all that stuff you know so amazing there it is, brother bro. thank you so much i thank appreciate you. it thank you for coming out i yeah. like that i mean mas que nada you know we want to thank you the audience is hugely thankful for you cool. coming here you know the listeners the viewers at home cool. to have somebody of your caliber you know that's been so embodied mm -hmm. you know in his craft you know Thank that's you. those are the people that we want to bring to this platform cool, cool. we want to bring people that are inspiring and that hopefully mm -hmm. push other people 
to also push themselves, exactly. right? Yeah. Not just because we're doing the pushing, but mm -hmm. because we want them to help themselves right. and push themselves to be mm, better so up, thank you so much Katana. Yeah. we appreciate it matt thank you, you already know brother yeah, yeah know guys as you. always you can find me at matt underscore tatum on any social media and mm tatum at gmail.com if you have any you know, inquiries about anything yeah there you go kev you already know brother yeah you guys can find me at deep voice beast on instagram or twitter or k.w.m and 93 at gmail.com there man, we thank go. Thank you again, man. Like, yeah, this is awesome. Bro. Thank, thank you guys you, for having bro. me, man. No, I, love, I love your setup, man. I appreciate it. Muchísimo. You know, and appreciate whenever you want to come back to talk about anything else, but future projects, right. special you want, episodes, special cool. episodes, okay. anything like that, bro, we're all for okay. it. You guys, you already know you can find me at Ricardo Adam Zarate on any social media platform. Follow us on Raz Radio on Instagram. And until next time, guys, we are out of here.